space Tesla might just hit us where it hurts. Scientists hyperventilating about Elon Musk's Tesla crashing into Mars and contaminating the surface can breathe a sigh of relief. But while it won't hit the red planet, there is a teeny tiny chance it will hit us. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket recently launched a red Tesla Roadster into orbit toward Mars. According to a new study predicting the car's future path, the Roadster will be roughly one lunar distance away from the planet in 2091. Over the next million years, it then has a 2.5% chance of hitting Venus and a 6% chance of crashing into Earth. But if it does come crashing into the planet, it will likely burn up in the Earth's atmosphere before reaching the surface. It's also not expected to pose any kind of risk to health and safety, so sit back, relax, and don't panic. Stay tuned for more SpaceX shenanigans. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. SpaceX rocket really blows. Face boom! Sorry. Facebook head honcho Mark Zuckerberg must be pissed with his SpaceX counterpart Elon Musk today after a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying a satellite that FB was planning to use exploded on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. The blast occurred as the rocket was being fueled on Thursday, but the cause of the explosion was not immediately known. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is designed to transport satellites and spacecraft into space. It has nine first-stage engines, which can sustain two engine shutdowns during flight without compromising the mission. The second stage delivers the payload into orbit. Its single engine can be reignited several times to send multiple payloads into space. The first stage of the rocket is designed to return to Earth so it can be reused. Rocket burns decelerate the Falcon 9 before four landing legs deploy. The Falcon 9 that exploded on Thursday was carrying an Amos 6 satellite, which Facebook planned to use to boost internet connectivity in Africa. The 62 million US dollar Falcon 9 rocket was due to launch on Saturday. Mark Zuckerberg wrote on Facebook that he was deeply disappointed by the mission's failure. And, Elon Musk aside, he definitely won't be the only one. Facebook is a customer of Israeli company Spacecom, which owns the Amos 6 satellite. It remains to be seen if the blast will scupper Spacecom's 285 million sale to a Chinese company, which was announced last week. Conditions attached to the deal said the satellite had to be launched successfully and complete in-orbit tests. Whoops. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from Boresight. The second, Velio constellation, would include 7,518 satellites, orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from Boresight. The satellites in the Leo constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers while those in the Velio constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024. Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. 
Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused ten times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. Yeah. <laughs>